Pats have gone out. Sarah Franz. Go. Dan Henshaw. Outside of him is Neil Caldoulas. Rick Hazelgrove is inside the third row and outside of him is Joel Berkeley. That's the front three rows as the lights go green. And the 20 lapper is underway. Chris Pagel leads them into the uh, Pagel's corner for the first time. And can you believe it? He's turned it around. Neil Caldoulas brings on a yellow one. I tell you what, folks, you might wait another lifetime to see that happen again. Don't count out car two, even at the back of the field. Final of the SSAE and Butcher Race Parts Mountain King Series for production sedans. Sarah Franz versus Neil Caldoulas. Dan Henshaw versus Joel Berkeley and Rick Hazelgrove. Have a look at them head to the top corner. Up high is Neil Caldoulas, but he can't get by. Sarah Franz is the race leader down low on the track. Here's Daniel Henshaw to the better. Neil Caldoulas up high, Joel Berkeley, Rick Hazelgrove. Next run through is Jim Cowley. Then a whole host and have a look who's back there in the pack, working his way through as they go down the back chute. Sarah Franz holds the race lead to the better of Daniel Henshaw. Next one behind them is Joel Berkeley in front of Neil Caldoulas. And... That's a mess. Oh. I'm not sure, but from here, just perhaps that inside front tire has gone flat in the uh, Chris Pagel car. Quick check to the Norm Townsend. Car number 68. Cal Doulas, Joel Berkeley, Rick Hazelgrove, Jim Cowley, Dan Cook. That's the front outside the Witches Hat. Go, we're racing. Have a look. Dan Henshaw is right on the hammer as they head to the top corner. Sarah France keeps him at bay. Daniel Henshaw, next run through them. Caldoulas, Henshaw, having a little look down on the inside. Neil Caldoulas, Joel Berkeley. Back to Rick Hazelgrove, one in all sorts of trouble high on the racetrack. Wells Dan Cook, but he gets himself back online again. Around Michael's corner, down the back chute. France making the Falcon just as big as she can. Round the hairpin and up the sink main straight away. Sarah France to the better. Daniel Henshaw gets it another look down the inside. Neil Caldoulas, Joel Berkeley. Then we go back to Rick Hazelgrove and Jim Kelly into the hairpin again. Sarah France is still there. Neil Caldoulas has gone on an excursion. In the hairpin, gets it back online. Up to the top corner, Daniel Henshaw again. Tries to poke the nose underneath. It's not going to work. Down into the hairpin corner. He moves high, tries to do a changeover. Sarah Franz has got it covered. Joel Berkeley would be the next one. Neil Caldoulas and then Rick Hazelgrove. Again, Sarah Franz is able to close that gap that's down low on the racetrack. So Sarah Franz throws it into the hairpin. Daniel Henshaw right on the hammer. Joel Berkeley would be the next one. Neil Caldoulas, Rick Hazelgrove. Here comes Daniel Henshaw again. Sarah Franz again holds him at bay. By side into the hairpin. 
Sarah France holds on. Daniel Henshaw, watch out for Joel Berkeley. Rick Hazelgrove coming up the inside of uh, Neil Caldoulas as they go down the back shoot and Tanya Matthews is the one that points herself in the middle of the quick cars as they go round the hairpin. Joel Berkeley was hammered out of that one and allows Rick Hazelgrove up into position number three again Daniel Henshaw. One spinning and almost right in front of them is Stephen Spence. The cars arriving very quickly on the scene. Sarah France to the better. Stephen Spence, he doesn't have to move out of the way. He's got to hold his line. That's all the rules made. Into the hairpin corner. Sarah France, Daniel Henshaw. Next run through is Rick Hazelgrove. We go back to Jim Cowley. Adrian Stott, Neil Caldoulas has had enough by the looks, is going back into the pit area and they're dropping like flies. And still, they're behind Stephen Spence, up the main straight away, and under the tower, once again I'm telling you, he doesn't have to move out of the way as Sarah France shuts the door on Daniel Henshaw. Rick Hazelgrove. Back to Jim Kelly, and again, this time, Sarah France gets up level with Stephen Spence. No change as they arrive at Dan Cook comes to the infield. Down the back straight away, having a go on the outside, Daniel Henshaw. Henshaw goes to the race lead as they're through the hairpin corner. He'll try the outside pass around Stephen Spence. Can't do it at the moment. Maybe the top corner, he'll get a little bit more drive higher on the racetrack. Daniel Henshaw goes to the race lead. Sarah France. Next one in there is Rick Hazelgrove and Jim Cowley. As they've all gone by, Stephen Spence. Six left remaining. Daniel Henshaw is up on. Tanya Matthews once again. She goes high on the racetrack. Staying out of half way as Dan Henshaw. Sarah France, Rick Hazelgrove. Next one through there is Jim Kelly. Up the zinc straight away. Five left remaining. The next car in front of them is Charlotte Christensen. Down the back straight for Daniel Henshaw. Charlotte Christensen is the car to be left. Here comes Rick Hazelgrove. Having a little look up the inside of Sarah France. Up there, Jim Kelly. Next one on the race will be Adrian Scott. Down the back shoot for our race leader at the moment. Dan Henshaw is right up on the tail of Charlotte Christensen. Under the tower, three to go. Again, Charlotte does not have to move out of the road. Daniel Henshaw has got to work away to get around her. Goes to the outside and shuts that. He comes down the inside. So Daniel Henshaw tries to put a car between himself and Sarah France, Rick Hazelgrove, Jim Kelly. Next one on the racetrack will still be Adrian Scott, but he's only just in the hairpin corner now. Down the back shoot. The white flag will be waiting. Daniel Henshaw tosses it into the hairpin to the better of Sarah France, white flag. Rick Hazelgrove, Jim Cowley, under the tower they go, around the uh, Pagels corner, down the back for the final time, and it will be Daniel Henshaw taking the final in front of Sarah Brand, Rick Hazelgrove, Jim Cowley. I think you'll find next car on the racetrack will still be uh, Adrian Stott. Well, we started with a few and we didn't end up with too many of them, but folks, put your hands together for one of the local heroes. Daniel Henshaw, car number 10. He was second in the point score 
even winning the race, he can't get enough to catch uh, Chris Pagel, but he will finish a fine second. Sarah Franz in position number two, and Rick Hazelgrove. Good to see him back on the racetrack. In two position. Number three. Yeah, as he goes down the back straight, Pope Jess, put your hands together for him. Daniel Henshaw. Fabulous stuff. We'll get over here and have a, uh, have a quick word as the juniors go out for their feature. But Daniel Henshaw takes the final in the SSA. He and Botcher race pass.